A woman who was punched by a Lansing police officer during a 2019 arrest is now suing the city, a former police chief, and the two officers involved. I sat down with her for an exclusive interview. Break your leg. No, you can't punch me. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Intense body cam footage shows the arrest of Deshaya Reed in Lansing back in June of 2019 when she was 16 years old. Body cam footage shows Officer Lindsay Howley punching the teen in her thigh several times and closing her foot in the car door. They hurt me and they hurt my feelings. Reed and her attorney sat down with Fox 47 News to share her side of the story. There are gonna be people that be like, you are resisting. You shouldn't have been resisting. Um, they're going to say the police officers did their job. Do you have anything to say to those people or comments that will come up from this? Yes. Um, I mean, yes, I was resisting, but you should never cheat, treat a child like that. I was 16. I'm 18 now. You should never treat somebody who's a child like that. Not even your own child. It don't matter what I did. Well, it do matter what I did, but it doesn't because I didn't do that much for that to happen to me. The lawsuit filed Tuesday alleges that officers used excessive force during the arrest, discriminated against her based on her race, and denied her due process. She is seeking damages in excess of $25,000. The city of Lansing declined to comment on the case, saying they have not been served yet. At the time of the arrest, Reed had not been in school for a couple of weeks. She said she was embarrassed because she had a coat sore. She admits she ran when the police came for her. I ran because I didn't want to get in trouble. Reed was caught and handcuffed. Body cam footage shows her getting upset and the struggle to get her in the car. Both officers can be seen in the body cam footage carrying Reed to the patrol car while she's crying, screaming, and lashing out. As officers tried to close the car door, Reed stuck her leg out to prevent the officer from closing it. Honestly, I blacked out and because I don't know what was going on. I was very confused, I was angry, I was upset, I was in distress. I'm like, I don't know, I just know that police officers are not supposed to do that. She says she didn't feel like she had control over her body. She says she has attention deficit disorder, anxiety, asthma, and depression, and believes that contributed to the situation on top of other personal things she had going on. Before this incident even happened, I already had a fear for a police because I didn't seen so many black men get shot and killed. Not in front of me, of course, but still, it's still deep down inside, like I still feel it. And I'm, I'm colored, so it was like, I was really scared that day. Reed has done a lot of work on herself since the incident. She's now looking for someone to be held accountable for what happened to her. If you've watched any of the videos, one of the things that really stands out for me is that, you know, I don't see any de-escalation techniques used. I don't see, you know, it just sort of went immediately into attack, attack, attack mode on a child. Um, they, they had no idea what was going on with her in that moment. And she had a lot of emotional trauma that she was dealing with that was being triggered by this attack on her. And and, and the situation is escalated by the attack by the police. Reed says she hopes that she can eventually leave the incident in her past. I just, I don't want to be known as the girl who got beat up by the police officer. That's what I hope. I want to hope, I mean, I hope that everybody sees me as something, as who I really am. I don't want to keep I don't want people to keep seeing me as the bad person. Reporting in Lansing for Fox 47 News, I'm Tiana Jenkins.